Yeah. Steady trying to take the high road, but they make it so hard. They love to tell you dream big, till you take it too far. They can tell you what you're doing wrong, but can never do it like you. If they can't put a label on you, ain't no telling what you might do. Made a lot of changes, I had to do it. Difference between me and them is I can see the wall before I crash into it. I saw the country this year twice, some people missing. I gave some people a hint, I guess we'll see who listen. Crazy when your dream is right in front of you. I've been so caught up in day to day to me, it's nothing new. When did we get here and why didn't we celebrate it? Think I learned that when I really make it, I won't have to say it. Think I learned that when I really make it, I won't have to say it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy RobotPanda15 here, bringing you another YouTube video. And today we're going to be talking about No Man's Sky. As you guys can see from the video, this game is so amazing. However, a lot of people would disagree with me. This game has been facing a lot of criticism and a lot of hate recently. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that people don't like the fact that this game was not up to their standards. A lot of people speculated what this game would be. A lot of people thought it would be this big MMO universe. And the developers, I believe, clearly stated in three or four interviews that this wasn't the case. This game is meant to be played by... Well, never mind. Let me change that. This game is meant to be... This game is a single-player game. It has multiplayer functionality in it, functionality in, it in the fact that uh, all of your discoveries are uploaded to an online server, and you can potentially visit other planets and systems that other people have already discovered. So it, it, the reality of this game is that it's kind of a race to see who's going to discover the most planets first, and who's going to discover the best planets first. But that's what this game is about. A lot of people are getting into this game thinking that it's going to be this fast-paced space combat exploration, minor exploration kind of game, when it's not. This game truly is the grind fest of exploration. It really defines what exploration is all about, what discovering stuff is all about. And a lot of that is the scenery, like you're seeing in all these shots here. The scenery in this game is absolutely beautiful. That's what this game is about. Now, at the same cost, there is one thing I will heckle the developers about, and that's the fact that there's no there's no option to remove the HUD in the game to make beautiful screenshots without all the freaking icons everywhere, as you see from as you see from some of the from the from some of the videos here. They'll eventually get around to changing that, I hope. But uh, yeah, that's one of the biggest things this game could really use is the no HUD option. Uh, I love everything about this game so far. In fact, I love it so much, this is actually going to be one of my more consistently streamed games. I'm going to be streaming this every Sunday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Or from uh, from 7 p.m. to about, let's say, like 10, 30, 11 p.m. East, or Central Time. That's going to be 8 p.m. to new, or to midnight uh, Eastern Time for those of you guys on the East Coast. Uh, West Coast, you guys already know your math to figure that out. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna throw in some actual screenshots as well as some actual gameplay here to show you guys off some to show off some of the stuff I've currently found. Uh, but one of the things that a lot of people don't understand about this game is that it it really is a grind. You want it, you you have like four main objectives in this game: discover as many planets as you possibly can, make as much money as you possibly can, buy the best ships that you possibly can, and upgrade all your equipment to the maximum it can possibly be. That is how you grind in this game. You're constantly trying to find outposts. You're constantly trying to find waypoints, all this kind of stuff where you can gather all these materials to upgrade, to explore, and to eventually get to the center of the universe is apparently the big objective of this game. I don't know. But the best way to currently earn money right now is the is a resource called Emerald. I'll throw a screenshot in here of it. But uh, yeah, I love this game. The, there's a bunch of different concepts in it. One of my favorite being the culture or not the culture the language barrier that you have with different species with different races of uh aliens so you have the viki the gek the corvax and the atlas i believe is the last one <clears throat> excuse me 
those are the different races of aliens in this game. I'll throw a picture of like a geck or something I find. Um, but yeah, those are the different species, and they all speak a different language. Now you'll eventually learn you'll learn some of your lang- some of their language as they go along. It'll actually help you with dialogue options later on in the game. And yeah, everything about this game is gorgeous. A lot. If you go into this game thinking it's going to be fast paced, shoot 'em up action you're going to have a bad time. You're not going to like it at all. This game is all about patience and exploration. If you played games like Ark, games like eh, Fallout kind of falls in that category, I guess, like Minecraft, stuff like that, you'll know what I mean. The combat is second to the actual exploration in the game. But a lot of people aren't understanding that. And they're giving it really bad reviews. They're critiquing it really hard. Because it's not what they expected out of it. That's a big issue. You can't go into a game expecting it to be what you want it to be. You have to go into a game looking at what it's offering and build your expectations around that. But yes, this game is amazing. I highly recommend when you first get this game to go the Atlas path don't do what I did my first playthrough and not go the Atlas path because I completely screwed myself out of so many resources and warp drives that it wasn't even funny. Atlas Path will really help you kind of get, kind of understand what the gameplay is all about, all that kind of jazz. Uh, you can see here I'm going into the Atlas Space Station, one of the Atlas anomalies to uh, pick up, um, or to continue my Atlas Path. I pick up a couple warp drives. None of that's available to you if you spurn the Atlas. None of it. <laughs> But yes, this game is gorgeous. Uh, once I've finished my Atlas path, you, you can guarantee I'm going to go back in. I'm going to do the free roam path in the center of the galaxy path just to just to uh, explore a little bit more and all that jazz. But yeah, a um, few more channel updates while I'm at it. So yeah, streams are going to be a little more consistent. I'm going to do Sundays are going to be my stream days. I'm going to stream as much as I can on Sundays. Uh, Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 will start up sometime in the middle of September, and I plan on having a new computer by the end of the year for sure. Uh, once I have that new computer, next year I plan on getting a capture kit for my 3DS, so any new 3DS games that come out in 2017 you can guarantee will be uh, Let's Play it on this channel. On this channel. And I'm actually going to toss around the idea of... Um, what's the term I'm looking for? I'm going to toss around the idea of doing airsoft gameplay and gear reviews and stuff like that. I have a lot of tactical gear. Those of you guys that know me, uh, that are friends with me, you know I have a lot of tactical gear and I do a lot of stuff with it. So plan on having all of that upcoming on the channel. I'm going to, I'm going to do a couple test videos, see how they do, see if I like making them and all that. But, uh, right now I'm just going to let the rest of this video play. Panda, check it out. Be patient, be patient, be faithful, be faithful, be careful, be careful. We try. Be humble, be humble, be grateful, be grateful, be honest, be honest. We lie. I speak it, they listen, they don't hear me. They tell me I'm wrong. I'll take it. I make mistakes, but my generation relate to what's in these songs. I promised when I got a voice, I would not preach. I hate that. I want to hear real life shit when I'm good and when I feel like shit. When life get heavy, I like shit. Get the wheel spinning like a bicycle. I want to be the nicest. They said I could have been a president, but we all got vices. My mind racing, I think a lot. I stress it all. If money's evil, then feed my people. I'm going to make it. God bless it all. God bless it all. My mind is home, but I'm less involved. I'm going to scribble my thoughts all over this notebook until the questions solved.